Okay, so um, I only got a few more minutes on this thing. Um, so this will be part two. Sorry, I hate when it um, chops my videos up. But um, that was like 40 minutes. So, you know, that, that was probably more than what I should have been doing anyway. But um, I want to keep the party going and just share a few more things with you guys. Um, me not being a uh, Moor or um, any of the other nationalities that are available to claim. And I'm just an American national. Um, I... Uh, sent out a um, this is my injunction now this is a copy of it I put it on legal paper when I actually sent it to the Secretary of State but the thing that I like the best about this what five page document is the first lines now you have to do this specific to your state um, Oklahoma Constitution as ratified without subsequent amendments Article 1, Bill of Rights, Section 2-14, the military shall be held in strict subordination to the civil authorities. That would be me. So, um, so the military is not the head. They are subordinate. All right. So, um... What you, this injunction, I'll share with you guys. I've shared it a few times on a couple other videos, but I needed to also give you guys an update that this injunction has um, been my hedge of protection. Um, anytime that I've gotten um, pulled over by one of these solicitors, um, I wasn't sure how it was going to work because I had only alerted the local um, municipality but I did send it to the Secretary of State and the Attorney General so that's probably why it um, got out through Oklahoma um, but I wasn't sure so I had got pulled over this particular day I didn't have any identification on me the last time I at least had my passport but this time I had nothing so I was like Ugh, how's this gonna go um, and I had got pulled over for speeding and, um, I wasn't wearing my seatbelt and I just got a new car and I had not switched over. I had the plate in my car, but I still had the, um, paper tag outside the car. I wasn't finna go back and forth. I don't talk to these, these solicitors. I don't, I let them say what they say and I say, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and let it go. I don't do all that talking back. There, I know plenty of people who have, who stood on their square and got to go safely away. That's cool for them. Maybe I'll get there in a few years. I'm still like year one, year two. So I don't say much. I let my, my I let my documents do the talking and the, the work that I did putting things on record. So um, I did give him my name. He went back. He ran my name. He came up to the car. He told me, hey, you're not getting arrested. You're not in any trouble or anything, but could you step out of the car? Um, well, I did have my children in the car. I, he didn't know how old my children were, so maybe he didn't want them to hear what we were talking about. But he didn't say nothing. He didn't say nothing that my boys couldn't hear. And then he was just like, all right, you're free to go. Um, he was like, however, he did give me tickets. The first time when I had my passport, I didn't get any tickets. They just let me go. This time, I didn't have any identification and gave me tickets. But I, I'm 100% sure he's seen something on that, um, on that, um, when he ran my name, that made him go ahead and leave me alone because the the violations that I had driving without insurance, ah, I had insurance driving on suspended license, I'm pretty sure he should have took my car, but he didn't. He couldn't. So um, someone had asked me, does the injunction expire? Well, after that situation, I it's no, because if you think about it, um, when you file a document into the, the records, that document stays on record. I don't even know if you can go and like, be like, can you take this um, evidence off the record? I don't know if you can even do that. Somebody let me know, but I don't think you can. So you'll know that you put these documents on record and you don't have to do nothing else. 
So um, the next thing I was talking about was the P.O. boxes and having everyone get P.O. boxes. I talked about the P.O. box because I wanted to then talk about the tax per Q. And I had I know I had put a video up about the tax per Q and my trials in it, how it worked until it didn't. Um, but how I was using it is I had nothing there. I had nothing in the area where the, the stamp should go. Um, I had all the laws on the left-hand side under my name. Um, so I have been introduced to this new process. Um, I haven't used it myself yet. Um, someone sent this to me and they addressed it to me and sent it to me. So it looks like I sent something to myself um, but I feel like it did work because I've had, when I was doing the tax per Q, I've sent stuff and they've asked for money on the back end. So whoever was receiving it would pick up the tab instead of whoever was sending it. And that was they fun. I mean, I got so many different um, results doing that tax per Q. I was just like, you know what? I'm about to just pay for postage so I know that my stuff gets there. And then when I'm ready to play with it, I'll do more of this. Um, so I haven't done this one yet, but this is the one that a few people have showed me that works where you put your thumbprint there. And this is really all postage paid tax per Q. They put the law on there. It looks like that you sign, you thumbprint, and then you put something, what is that? Foreign office of origin. Um, so that's what, people are doing and that that's that's it they, there's nothing else there's no other laws there's nothing else that they put on there that was it so um you guys can try that let me know i'll be trying it soon um what else did i want to talk about i talked about the discharging i talked briefly about the um passport being pulled over warrants oh i, I told y'all i had warrants when they pulled me over this last time and he didn't he just let me go psh, psh, i know um Oh, and then I wanted to talk about the power of rescinding and cease and desist letters. Um, cancel your contracts when you're done with them. Cancel the contracts when you're done with them. Cancel the contracts when you're done with them. Um, you can rescind the contract. Look up the um, um, Truth in Lending Act. I told you everything is sprinkled in these acts and in publications and books and everything like that. But they're all tell you your position and your duty in the position and that's what we need to learn that's what they're not teaching us in school we need to have our own school where we're teaching this because we're we're the authority is it all these companies and businesses they out here without no mama they out here without no type of um check and balance so they out here cheating us stealing from us all kind of mess because we're not in proper place to hold them accountable for their violations, their their treason, and their dishonor. That's where we come in. So make sure you do that. My cease and desist, um, that stuff works. Um, it really does work. What is this? It's going to pull out my cease and desist, but that's ongoing. Uh, it's not ongoing because they've left me alone. But it's it's fresh, so I'm gonna leave it alone just in case. But it does work. Um, it does work. So look up um, the rescinding contract, some verbiage to rescind the contract. Um, notice publications and go read. So that was how long was this video? Oh, that's really upsetting. So my last video was 40 minutes, and it cut me off. And I'm pretty much done. And this video is like nine minutes long. <laughs> Um, well, I guess I'll maybe try to make it worth, worth your while. Just in case you, um, only catch this last little bit of this video and don't get part one. Um, I'm gonna pull out some of these books that you just gotta, gotta, gotta have. Gotta, gotta have. Starting book number one. Uniform Commercial Code. <sighs> I love this book. Oh my God. I love it, y'all. It has everything. Electronic funds transferable. Matter of fact, let me go to the um, 
This is a Bible within itself. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I you see, I'm all smiling. I get geeked up behind this stuff. But um, yeah, are y'all gonna be? Y'all ain't gonna. Be, I ain't gonna be able to show y'all. It it has everything though. Um, it has everything. Buyer remedies, seller remedies. Um, holder in due course. Got to read that. Negotiable instruments. Um, checks, drafts, forged checks, liabilities, um, electronic function for I said that one, letters of credit, come on now, this is stuff we be playing with, scope, article 9, we, everybody hear about article 9, so yeah, default and its consequences, so these, this is something that we need to know because we are the ones that create the no negotiable instruments. So we need to know the rules behind the documents that we create. Um, the next one, I'm sure a lot of people already know about um, the Black's Law Dictionary. Um, you definitely want to have your hands on one of these. Um, I have I have the PDF in my phone, so if you can't get the book, you can get the PDF. I reference it enough to where I was like, I need a book because I like paper. I like highlighting things and underlining things. So that's that's my personal preference. But you don't have to get a book. Um, I I can't remember if they're in the library. I I remember it, um wanting to look into it and see if they're in the library, and I can't remember. What I ended up finding out, um, I can't remember if they have them in there, but you can check the, your local library. Got to get one of these bad boys, a state and trust um, administration for dummies. Um, they go over, like I said, our SSN, the entity, the all caps name that was created is an estate. And we are administering our estate. We are the executor, if you're a male, executrix, if you're a woman. And you have to learn how to run it. It's just like being born with a business and you have to teach yourself how to run the business. You can't just let the business go because that's how you end up getting arrested and your butt sitting in jail with all this debt on your head, all these people snatching up your car, snatching up your this and your that because you haven't given them notice of who you are. You haven't given them instruction. You haven't made anybody a fiduciary. You're basically uh, an estate with no with nobody running it so, every, so everything is up for grabs. You better take control of your estate. My other new favorite book is the CPA Excel exam review, the 2016 version. Um, the reason why this is a favorite is they do talk about negotiable instruments in here. They do get they do um, give questions and then answers um, so that you can actually review because it is a, a study book. So that, so it does allow you to make sure you comprehend the information, which is great. And um, because everything is a tax, um, a CPA does taxes, accounting type of stuff, you need to know what this stuff is talking about. Most CPAs, they learn it from one perspective. They don't learn it from the perspective of an individual um, mining their estate or, or administering the estate. Um, there's a lot of good information in here. So now there are a million different books to get on. These are just the ones that I've got my hands on here recently. I haven't even read them all. Um, like I said, watching people like PJ and getting a hold of the materials that he reads. That's, that's my next goal to do. Um, you know, I got, uh, can y'all see me? Y'all can't. Well, I have, or I guess I can put this out. Nope. It's got stuff back there, so it's not going to pull out. But I was going to show y'all my file cabinet. Um, well, right now, it's, it's not even a cabinet. It's a, it's a pull-out thing, and then you got files all in it. I'm waiting on the one. Somebody's donating me one. I can't wait to get it because I definitely need a bigger file things so I can put you have to be organized when you're doing this stuff because um you 
the things that you put on record, the things that you give notice for, um, you need to have a record of it. And then if there's any violations or something isn't working right, you can go back to what you did or what you said, or you might need to make copies of it to send it to somebody higher up to make sure that they that the company that is in violation is um, that you give proper evidence of how they're in violation so you need to have a copy of that and then also if you if you're the one putting together the the violation document then you can say you know the registered mail number was this it was received on this day why because you have green cards you want to have plenty of well, where's my red one that plenty of uh certified stamps certified stamps certified um mail receipts you want to have plenty of these you can order that stuff online on their website you want to have you a roll of the register mail stickers these are things that are going to be necessary for you to do your job as the administrator of your estate these things are free <laughs> from the usps um, website so go on there and get the things that you need this is the the tape that they use when you send something registered mail you got to put you got to put that um you got to put that on there in a specific way so um i my goal is to just um give you guys confidence and bring awareness around certain things that um, you want to know while doing being on this journey because I feel like when I was doing it, it seemed like you had to learn the, a specific way. And now that I know enough, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm making up my own remedies. I'm putting my own documents together based on what I know that they do and what I know that they prove so that I can get my point across. So that's where you want to be. You want to be at the point where you can dish out these documents just as quick as they try you um so i think i mean i think that was everything i hope this video or these these two-part videos um shed some light gave some insight some direction some motivation some confidence some boldness to be on this path understanding that it is your god-given right to do these things house joint resolution 192 everyone should be very familiar with the fact that um the debts are obligations of the united states treasury so our goal is to get our proof of debt to the treasury for them to because it's their obligation at the end of the day that's what it says um and i want to say i have read on how that it, it's been said that that has been repealed the house joint resolution has been repealed however the conditions that caused the house joint resolution to go into effect have not been remedied they haven't bought gold back they haven't given us these things back so with because you guys have yet to um, rectify the situation, House Joint Resolution is still in effect until you guys give us back real money. Until then, we're still under House Joint Resolution. So don't let anybody, don't let people lie to you and tell you what you can and can't do. What you can do is in the word or in the publications as long as you know your position when you're reading it. If you're reading it as you're the debtor, you read it and you're going to be reading it all wrong. If you read it as you're the lender, then you know what your position is. So um, thank you guys all for tuning in, sharing my videos, liking my videos. Um, it, it is It definitely um, lifts my spirits knowing that the words that are given to me to speak to you guys there's certain people um that i'm supposed to make an impact on and so i feel good that you guys are receiving my energy receiving the, the, what i'm putting out and um it's actually helping you so mwah, peace and love until we meet again get out there and administer